Hi everyone, welcome to the presentation of TSCP2, Time Series Change Point Detection with Self-Supervised Contrastive Predictive Coding. I am Shohri Deldari from RMIT University. Today, time series play an important role in modeling the environment around us. These constantly generating multivariate time series data can be used for different applications, such as web behavior analysis, web traffic and web service traffic investigations, medical purposes, smart home and smart cities, electricity distribution planning, and so on. But annotation and extracting meaningful segments from this huge amount of data is challenging, expensive, and sometimes infeasible. That's why self-supervised and unsupervised methods are a hot topic these days. Change point detections will help us to extract meaningful parts from unlabeled data and make it ready for further processing. We define a time series change point detection technique that looks for changes in properties of the given time series to find the most homogeneous segments that can represent a specific state of the system. Existing change point detection methods can be divided into deep learning and non-deep learning based methods. The current deep learning methods are mostly based on measuring the ability of previous input in predicting the future, or some of them are based on cha detecting changes in distribution of subsequent intervals. On the other hand, non-deep learning methods can be categorized based on the features they consider to detect changes. Some of them rely on changes in statistical features, and some of them focus on temporal pattern and shape-based features. Or we have hybrid models, such as recently introduced method named Espresso, which propose a hybrid approach and combines shape-based and statistical features to make it applicable to a wider range of datasets. We have provided a full review of the current change point detection methods in our paper. There are several gaps uh, in each mentioned methods and each mentioned categories. For example, the methods which rely on the reconstruction of signal or predicting future, uh, they usually waste so many resources on re uh, reconstructing every single piece of information of data that may not be necessary. Or on the other hand, um, each of mentioned methods may be applicable to only one type of data sets. For example, the shape-based method can detect changes in signals with repeated patterns, while statistical methods are able to detect sudden changes in statistical features or distribution of adjacent segments, but not gradual changes. To answer these gaps, we leverage the power of contrastive learning as an unsupervised objective function for a generic time series change point detection task. We propose a representation learning framework based on contrastive learning to tackle the problem of self-supervised time series change point detection. And uh, then we compare the proposed method against other change point detection methods, including deep learning and non-deep learning ones. Therefore, we propose a change point detection method based on compact and predictable features of subsequences within a time series. Why it should be compact? Because we aim to learn only the most describing and distinguishing features of each segment. And why it should be predict predictable? Because we hypothesize that whenever the extracted representation is not able to predict the future, then there must be a change or segment boundary in the raw data. So we propose TSCP2 model. We use contrastive learning to learn and predict compact features of the sequences of data. As it is shown in the figure, change points occur when there is a mismatch between the features the model predicts based on history and the actual features of future frames. Therefore, we use the representation learning task as an auxiliary task to do change point detection. This figure shows an overview of the proposed model. In the following sections, we will first discuss the encoder architecture and the last function we use. Then we will explain the sampling strategy. And at the end, we will talk about uh, the change point detection or boundary selection method. And then we will have the experiments. 
Here, we adapt, a, we adapt an approach based on contrastive predictive coding to learn a representation that maximizes the mutual information between consecutive time windows. Firstly, WaveNet was employed to encode each of the time series um, uh, sequences or time series frame. Secondly, a three-layer fully connected network was employed on top of this encoding to produce a more compact embedded representation. The cosine similarity was computed between the embeddings of consecutive time windows in order to estimate the similarity of frames between mm, history and future. The time intervals associated with smaller similarity values had a higher likelihood of being change points. A contrastive learning approach was used to train uh, the encoder by using pairs of continuous time windows as a positive pair and a set of window pairs that were separated across time, uh, which uh, will be the negative pairs within each batch. We applied the n paired loss metric to maximize the mutual information between positive pairs amongst the uh, set of negative pairs of samples. In contrast to one pair construct, uh, contrastive loss or triplet loss, n paired loss is calculated based on multiple negative pairs, which is also called multiple negative learning. Here, uh, we used a simple st uh, sampling strategy where positive sam sample pairs are randomly sampled and used to construct the, uh, con construct the negative sample pairs for each batch. The figure shows the process of batch construction in our model. We chose k random pairs of adjacent windows, x and y, as the positive pairs. And um, uh, then each pair must uh, confirm the const contra uh, constraints of being a minimum temporal distance far from the other pairs. This minimum temporal distance constraint is used to enable each batch to adapt the future windows of the, uh, of the other positive pairs as negative pairs, given they are guaranteed to be sufficiently separ separated from each other. The intuition is that time series are commonly non-stationary and hence windows that are temporarily separate from one another are likely to exhibit far weaker statistical dependencies than adjacent windows. Here uh, we have three example of, um, examples of both positive and pairs as the, in the left side of the slide and negative pairs at the right side. As you can see, after training the model, the extracted features from positive pairs are quite similar to each other, but there, are, there is no such similarity between negative pairs, uh, where uh, a change has occurred uh, in either history or future frame. We hypothesized that when a change point occurs at either history or future interval, they will be distributed differently. To detect change points, we utilize the cosine similarity between the predicted latent embeddings based on history and future intervals across the entire time series. A valley picking algorithm is used to detect local minima that fall below a predefined threshold. The threshold is defined based on the average and standard deviation of pair similarity in the whole dataset. The intervals associated with this local minima will be detected as change point estimates. The figure shows an example of cosine similarity between the predicted representation and actual representation of future frame. The green areas show the intervals, interval pairs which contain a change point, and the yellow line shows the average of um, recent frame similarity. We can see the similarity drops at the change point areas. We evaluated the effectiveness of our model across three datasets covering a diverse type of change points, such as changes in shape, pattern, changes in statistical features and distribution, seasonality, trend, noise, and etc. The performance of purpose method was compared to the five baseline methods across three datasets. To enable a fair comparison between these methods, we performed a grid search of the set of parameters associated with each method. And for each method, the model with, um, with the best 
F score and its corresponding parameters were presented uh, in this table. To compare the ability of each method to detect change points, we set three different detection error margins for each data set, depending on the sampling rate and the application, which means how, which means shows the delay in predicting the change points. And as you can see in this table, our um, proposed method, TSCP2, can outperform other uh, baselines in two data sets, and it uh, shows the second best um, result in the third data set. We showed that TSCP2 is able to outperform both non-deep learning and deep learning baselines with respect to F-score average over all of the data sets and parameters. An additional study is performed to investigate the impact of each hardware parameter setting uh, used in the self-supervised setting and contrastive learning methods, such as batch size, window size, and code size, which is uh, the size of the representation code. For example, larger batch sizes will provide stronger contrastives and so offer higher F-score. Uh, you can find more information on interpreting the results regarding the characteristics of each data set uh, in, in the paper. We compared um, the relation between code size and batch size and window size for each data set um, in the last section of our paper. To conclude, we highlight the main contribution of our work. For the first time, we employed contrastive learning for predictable representation learning in order to do time series change point detection. We found out the effectiveness of embedding representation for change point detection and also investigated the applicability of contrastive learning methods across time series with different characteristics. Thank you for watching this video. You can find the source code on our GitHub page.